we just left, well, I just left, mom left just a little bit ago, um, the Nantahala Hostel, and got started. I did the tiny little, like the shortcut to get to the trail, but then I backtracked a little bit to make sure I got that little extra bit of the trail. And I started going, and I came to this area with lots of rocks. You can see the rock behind me. It looks like that tree is holding up that giant rock. Hopefully it's not, but it looks like it. And then this funky little thing I saw behind me here, it's just like, well, that's not natural. They definitely put that in, which I wonder why, but it looks really cool. And then this was the trail that I just came from. Wait. Yeah. Came from that way. All these giant rocks on the side of me. And that one over there, which just looked amazing. And then the trail goes off that way. So, time to get started. Sweet little purple butterflies. So cute, it doesn't look purple until it flies. And then it's adorable. Come on, go again. Go again, baby. I want to see your pretty purple wings. So I've come to one of my favorite things that you find along the side of uh, the trail. It's a shady spot and what I would like to call a hiker couch. <laughs> also just a down log. But if they're big enough and situated right. Oh. And I actually have a super handy tree right here. Get the weight of your pack off. I don't know if you can see, probably see. Oh. Just take a breather without your butt getting completely dirty by sitting on the ground and then having to get up from off the ground. <laughs> so yep, perfect hiker couch right here with the foot rest. Amazing! switch back up here on these rocks beautiful dogwood tree out here climbing up this I know I'm going fast but climbing up there there's another pretty dogwood another one up there it's just a beautiful day beautiful day Oh, I'm standing under a dogwood. White blossoms right above me. Pretty butterfly. So I'm walking up the path, and I look up, and there's just so many pretty colors. Brand new maple leaves, just a bunch of pine cones in that tree over there, and then you can see a little bit of the mountains out here, and they all have a whole bunch of different types of green. A little bit of like peachy color, and then someone is living a really nice life right down there. Looks like a house bunch of outbuilding type things. But yeah, I just thought it looked really pretty right here. A lot of nice colors. That's where I came from.
I was just coming from that way. You might be able to hear the birds. But I saw this rock. That giant pile of rocks over there at this campsite. It looks really cool. These hills are brutal today. You can't really, really see it, but man, I just this is level. It just goes down, 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 and I'm just stopped in a little bend because I'm needing a breather again. When it goes on up and up and up and up and up. It's a beautiful day though. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> Glad to be out here. But this is a pretty steep and rugged a lot of uphill today. Heading up that way. Sorry, probably smacking my gum. The guy on the trail told me. Chewing gum going uphill helps because it keeps your saliva going so you don't dry out so much. So. so the trail came from over there. A lovely view down this ravine. Way down. Beautiful sky. And it went over all these rocks. Rugged section a little bit. Just a short one. And then... It's going up this and over those roots and continuing on over there, but it looks like a nice easy trail over there. So, a lot of swinging around. Sorry to make you seasick. More rugged trail. Stephanie's ahead of me, but I can hear her singing. Oh, I just saw her way up there. And I heard her sing. That's where I came from. And all of that is super muddy right there. It just looks brown, but it is all mud. But it's because of this beautiful uh, spring or stream, I don't know. Look at that. Big old rocks. I definitely splashed some of that on me because it is hot out today. Which I prefer over cold, but it's definitely hot. Go down there. And then it's also this big open area out here. Goes way down there. That is quite a long way away and way steep downhill. And this is the way I'm going. Not that way. So, I've gone about five miles today so far, straight uphill basically, um, and I have about two more miles to go before we get to Sassafras, Sassafras Gap Shelter, I think that's what it's called. Mom is a little bit behind me because she wanted me to go ahead and make sure that we got a decent uh, tent spot. So, I just warned her about the uh, rock scramble and the two big logs across the trail that you have to like climb over. So I told her to let me know if she needs any help and I can come back, but um, yeah, I'm about two miles away and there's this little overlook here. It's definitely nice to get a open view of it sometimes. So here we are, the little overlook. It goes like straight down in front of me. Um, yep, just forest covered mountains. rocky outcropping. I don't know where I am. I'll look on gut hooks in a minute. That looks like a trail there almost, but probably not really. Just beautiful though. 
Okay, so I'm on another little, much smaller rocky outcropping with this view again, but from a slightly different angle. You can see the road down there. I didn't see that before. I wonder if that's the road going past the knock. Whew. Looks like a river down there next to the road, so it probably is, which means that's where I came from earlier today. Somewhere down there. Could be way farther back where I see the road further back, but I don't know. Oh, and I think this place that I'm at, or this area with the view, is called the Jump Up. Or this next stretch of, of trail is called the Jump Up because it's going to be steep, I think. I don't know which. I don't know if the view spot is called the Jump Up or this section of trail, but up it goes. Big old millipede or centipede or something. Whatever it is. It's another critter on the trail. I always gotta catch the critters if I can. Still climbing. Climbing and climbing and climbing. Probably getting pretty close to the top. But it just keeps going.